Hey y'all, it's Chimdi. So as y'all can see from the title, I have paid off my student loans and I am officially debt free. Yes, yes, yes. I feel you applauding, I feel your snaps. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I have been paying off my loans since about 2013, so it's been about five or so years and I had about 40K in student loans, mostly from grad school. And now I am debt free. So I wanted to come on here and to share with y'all three things that I think help me become debt free that I think could help you become debt free if this is your journey and your situation and you're trying to like get rid of this like thing that is weighing you down, this anchor around your neck. Okay. The first thing is motivation. So this was my motivation. It was the total money makeover. This is what gave me the motivation to get out of debt. I think without it, I would have just paid the monthly. Like it wasn't that much that I couldn't just afford to pay it monthly for the next like 10 years. I think is how long they want you paying it. But the book just creates a vision. Like it, it makes you create a vision for yourself and for your life and actually think about what it would feel like to like, to be out of debt, to have a home that you own outright, to be able to be as generous as you wanna be. All these different things that you just don't think could it could ever happen to you. I know people who are like, oh, I'm gonna die with debt. I'm just never gonna pay it off. This is my life. And they have thoroughly accepted that, you know? So that this book was the perfect thing to help me like realize that your life truly is what you make it. And if you wanna be debt free, if you wanna have financial peace, that is a reality that you can attain for yourself. So the book was truly like the best, best thing that happened to me. Specifically within the book, because obviously, we know why it's great to have financial peace, to have money. You can buy nice things, you can go on trips, you can go on vacations, you can help people. But to me, the book spelled out specifically why it's great in terms of the charity, in terms of the giving, in terms of being generous. Uh, it ends with the anecdote around a man who like every Christmas buys a hundred bikes to give away to kids. You know, like, cause you have that much money that you can just like just be extremely generous. And so my mind started turning like, the people who have been buying out theaters for folks to see Black Panthers, to see A Wrinkle in Time, like that's the kind of support and help and generosity that I would love, love, love to be able to give to my family, to my community, to my friends, all that stuff. So that was my like additional motivation was how I can be generous with the money um, because there's only so many trips you can take, there's only so many cars you can buy, houses you can own. It really is about just sharing that wealth and giving it back to people who like helped you get where you are and to the next generation of people who are hopefully gonna make the world you know even better. So you need that motivation because it is a struggle. Which brings me to the second thing, which is sacrifice. If you're gonna pay off your student loans, your debt, depending on how much it is, you need a lot of sacrifice. I literally got my first pedicure like maybe three or four months ago. And everybody was like, your first? This is your first pedicure? And I'm like, yes, I'm not gonna pay a stranger to paint my toenails. Like, what are you talking about? Like, there was such a level of frugality and like not having exposure to nice things that just was like, because you, you really do have to sacrifice. Uh, Y'all see me in my like cute little apartment or whatever. Y'all don't see me when I was living with four people. You know, all my furniture was off the street. Like you don't see that version of Chimdi because you gotta sacrifice for a while, you know, to get to where you wanna be. And that's actually the like tagline of the book is you wanna live like no one else now so you can live like no one else later. Because you will have a lot of people saying, hey, you know, that's like good for you. I would never do that. But I'm gonna be out here having a good time at this party, buying these cute outfits this going on these trips all while still having debt but still having my good you know my good time and I'm the kind of person who wants to do all that stuff without it actually be you know giving me negative equity so you have to really realize like this is a long-term plan this is not a get-rich-quick situation this is a long-term lifestyle change mindset change that you have to do and it takes sacrifice so don't expect to to get you know get to some of these goals, these gains, without having to make some really hard choices. And the reality is that you have to have a mindset of being around for more than a year or two. You know that's what gets you down is thinking, oh, well, I'll never get a chance to do this again or that again. And sure, there are a lot of things that are once in a lifetime, but there are a lot more things that are not. And realistically, are you? like living a life so that you only live for the next two or three years? Or are you trying to make it to 60? Are you trying to make it to retirement? Are you trying to make it to 30, 40? Just have just a comfortable life, you know? That's one thing I think about because I'm in my late 20s is, oh, this will take seven years. And like seven years is like 35. <laughs> like that's not like it's the end. That's hardly the end of the world to like only have my own home that I own outright when I'm 35. Like. That's still doing pretty good. So you have to have that motivation. 
And then you have to be willing to make that sacrifice. And then I think the third thing that I would say is support. You need people who are going to help you and cheer you on because it is very demoralizing if people dismiss your goals, dismiss your dreams. You need to be like self-motivated definitely. You need to have that, you need to be driven by your own motivations. But it is very, very helpful when you have friends, when you have families, when you have significant others, people who are saying, this is awesome, I'm so happy for you, congratulations, like you can do it, yes, you know, who are just rooting you on. It's such a nice extra boost. That's one thing that sometimes I wonder about is are people happy for me? Are people like, people gonna be haters and be like, mm, whatever. Or are they gonna be genuinely like supportive and happy for me? And most people, it depends on your circle, like, you know, get them haters out your life. But uh, most people, if you are picking your <laughs> circle right are supportive of you and want you to be successful so it's so important to have those folks who you can like bring along in your journey and hopefully inspire so they too can become debt free that's why I'm making this video is because so many people are like oh no I can never I can never do that you can do it if you really want to if you really if you genuinely want to you can do whatever you put your mind to you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you listen don't make me give you a word out here all right you can you can truly truly do it i have done it there are so many examples of people who have done it so if it's something that you really want something you really care about do it and the amount of impact and joy you'll be able to have once you have financial peace is awesome like i'm not even there yet i'm like one step i'm finished like the book is laid out in baby steps i think i finished baby step three out of like seven so i'm not even all the way there yet and already it is just so cool to just sometimes i have moments where i just think <sighs> I don't have any student loans. They're gone. It's really weird. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna log in every month and pay that bill anymore. I'm just gonna, I just don't, what, I just have money now that I can just do with what I want to. It's so weird. It's so, so weird, but it's so cool. And I'm so excited for the next chapter in my financial journey and to get closer and closer to like complete financial freedom where you own everything completely outright. You own your home, you own your cars. Like all that you're paying for is maybe gas and electricity and all that stuff is coming out of investments that are making more money for yourself. Like that is a dream, but it is real. It is achievable and I'm going to achieve it because I know I can and because I have this book. This this video, I mean, look at my subscriber count. It is not sponsored. They didn't, Dave didn't reach out to me like, hey girl, can you give me some promo? But he needs to because I am genuinely such a, such a huge, huge fan huge fan of this book. It has truly, truly changed my life. And if nothing else, I hope you at least like go to the library and pick it up because it is transformative. So, all right, y'all. I hope this has been some awesome Sunday motivation for y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I love it when you do. I'm only trying to get to 1K. I'm trying to get to 1K in 2018. Like help me make this dream come true. I appreciate you. All of y'all have already subscribed. Thank you so much. Okay, I will see y'all in the next video.